Hello everybody, welcome back. Combat 2 by Compass Games, designed by Ross Mortel. We are doing uh, our campaign. We're in Hurricane Forest, and we are on mission 48, I believe it is. Um, I'm actually saving this time this time. Wild Crew. Uh, so I, I restarted it over for the simple reason that... Um, Yesterday I got interrupted, and when I went to close the game, I thought I saved it all and did not somehow. Uh, so I lost it, and rather than try and piece it all back together through the video, I decided I'd just reset it all back up, which took the wind out of my sails. But it is what it is. Um, so I deleted the one video off the YouTube channel, so if you're wondering where it went, that's where it went. I'm resetting back up my uh, ambush. And uh, we did not roll for a jeep this time, which is going to change things a little bit too. So I'm going to keep my tank up north. Uh, actually, the way it's shaking down, I'll put the tank up north and put the machine gun down here. I'm not quite sure where I want to. I still don't want to do that. I'd like to keep. I'd, still, I'd like to keep um, some of these guys. Let's put the machine gun up there. Then I want, I'd like to keep for initiative purposes one of each group down in you know the group. So one group, one group's not completely shut out on bad, bad. Um, yeah, it'll work. A little heavy on Abel and ba uh, Baker up here, but that we'll make up for it later. And that means the tank's going to come back down here. All right. Anyway, so uh, if you're wondering where the video went, it's because I, I screwed up and didn't save. I was in a hurry trying to save and and didn't. I managed to screw the pooch. So um, it is what it is. Um. Trying to decide how I best want to handle this, because um, I am restarting over. I wasn't too happy with my little uh, excursion. I'm going to do the same thing with the tank. Um, these guys are worthless down here, so I'm just going to try to try to be a little wiser this time when I set up. Uh, I do have um, Jester, all the automatic weapons except for Franklin are down here. I'll put him, I, I really don't even want to do that. I'd like to have them hide back out of the way. Last time they ended up spotting me and spoiling the whole, hiding or not, spoiling the whole uh, attack. And I'd rather have them out of the way and would just try to run and gun for it. I don't like that neither though. I guess I'd rather have us fire right away, keep some of the guys back. Be able to see there. I ended up having the tank come forward into the trees. These guys, if I go behind the rocks, we're not going to be able to see shit. And I don't want guys on the opposite side of the road. <coughs> oh, sorry about that, man. I'll just put him there and run him up to try to hit there with Franklin when they come in. I don't want these guys where they can, are too vulnerable with that bazooka. And until we settle in, we really can't use it. And they're going to be so close to these guys. Get 
get them up here far enough. I think the best bet maybe just to throw them in there and take a shot over Jester. I'll put them right here. That way Jester and Franklin are the only ones that really can be seen. The tank's going to hide back here. Their orders on the first impulse, or first turn are going to be all these guys are going to be hiding. I'm going to continue my same tactic. I like to have everybody hiding. And for the guys up here, I wasn't happy with the way everything got seen last time, so we're just going to go ahead and I do want the two automatic weapons right here when you come put a crossfire in, but I don't want them spotted right away. Oh, I'll be back. All right, think I got my act back together here. Oh, uh, only what I record. You don't record, you don't realize how difficult it is to do all this. Your mind's on everything but what you're doing most of the time. Um, I think I want to put these guys where they have to move into position to fire there. That way I can be select selective. I will put me in harm's way just so I can see. And I'll put Manning where he can get out. Oh, I want the machine gun there though. Got a lot of firepower up here. <clears throat> Maybe I'll put me over here and have me uh, secure the flank and, and cover the bazooka man. And then I'll put Manning right here. That'll work. That only gives them three guys to try to see. We, like I said, we're without the Jeep this time, so it'll be a little different. Probably a little easier on the Germans then. Um, Alright, see if I can remember how to do everything again. Uh, our cards. We need our card. And I'm going to get rid of this one, the minus one one right away. First off, to try and get that back into the uh, card draw. And second off, um, I don't want that minus one when we start firing. All these guys are going to be hide. <clears throat> I don't want anything happening in this first impulse and I'd like our first turn I'd like to have them at least up around this bend it's not going to be that way because um, these tanks the best they can do is get up to here all right um, second off we need to get the German card they only have one card that's their initiative for the whole group and a card for the tank, which really isn't going to matter because I'm going to have him doing nothing this first impulse, too. Uh, he's going to be doing nothing, but actually I'm going to have him on nothing. Commander's going to be spotting. But other than that, I'm going to have them all sitting on their laurels. So we'll draw a card for them just because we have to, to keep the card drawing going. And they're going to be 82. And the tanks are all going to go with the same initiative down here as the group. So the first turn is relatively easy. So I say. <clears throat> all right. It's going to be the German force. And we'll just use yellow to keep it consistent. Um, and then uh, Abel, Baker, Charlie. And then the uh, German. All right, we get rid of that one. Let's undo that one. We get rid of that. One. <clears throat> That's the tanks initiative. Oh boy, I'm messing up already. I can tell it's not going to be a good day to record. I probably do not want to do this. A lot going on right now. I think I've said that quite a few times. So um, just 
bear with me. I'm going to miss things. I'm going to mess up. I'm going to forget things. I'm not going to put the waiting and uh, prepared on them. I learned from the last mission that the rules basically have all that covered. And that the first time they see you, they go to duck back, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave all that off of me. There's just one extra step. Germans get to go first. Um, I, I do like the idea I had last time where they all use basically a road move. So everybody from here, the, the, the vehicles are automatically on a road move. And as it's a column, I'm going to just go to do the same thing. They're all going to road move to there. These guys are going to follow the move road. And that's going to be the German move. My guys are all hiding, so that's going to be the end of impulse one. Um, no, it is not. They get one chance to spot everybody that can be seen. So, he can attempt to spot them. That's a four. Minus uh, three. Minus three is a one, zero, or one. Does not see him. He can't see them, so they're, they're only going to be able to spot him. End up on this side. They only get one time, one chance for everybody visible. They're only going to be able to spot him. That's going to be a zero or one two. That's what I that's what I messed up last time in my setup, and I normally don't do that. I try to keep everybody out from where they can be seen. Even at hide, they can be seen. Over here, some ones tend to pop up when you least need them. All right, so we're going to go to impulse number two. Actually, my guys can attempt to spot them too, and we need to do that. He can attempt to spot them. We're five, and they are. <clears throat> moving in the order uh, we're going to call that an evade plus one, six I know who he is the top one and the bottom one, they have two zeros right? actually right off the bat we got to use up must re-roll re so we got rid of that, we have a ton of re-rolls to use too so the second re-roll the second roll sees the top guy and the and we have to see the bottom guy too. Um, five, six to see these guys. I think we can still see them. Yes. And we see the top one, not the bottom one. These guys. Five, six. We can. I'm going to say we can see all the way down to the tank. After that, there's going to have to be dust and, and stuff involved in the tank in the way. So, um, all the way up to there, we're looking at six, eight, and a nine. Neither one of those. I can re-roll that nine. Six. We will see the bottom guy. These two, six or less, seven and a five. We see the bottom guy there. And the last two, five and a three. We see both of these guys. God, all of them soldiers. And more Manning can see. just these guys at the moment so there's no more spotting impulse one is done impulse two the Germans are going to move and it's going to be one big road move right there they can attempt to spot Actually, I could have attempted to spot him, too. This guy can see, not him, but he can see him. So, actually, do the best guy. This guy, can he see him? No. So, he can only attempt to spot Manny. 
That's a minus three. We need a three to see him. Two, and it does. So they are now going to be alert. So we are seen. Spotted. And this guy, four. Minus three is a one. Doesn't see him. And I forgot to move these guys up yet. So every German is going to get a duck back order. And that's going to be it for impulse two. And as far as spotting goes, let's see all the way back to the tank again, plus this guy. So five, six, but now they're ducking back in the open. There's a five. One. We see him. That officer. They're both known. This guy, five, seven, doesn't see him. Top guy, nine, doesn't see him. We can re-roll that. Three, we do see him. Man. Did a lot better on the last one at rolling for dummies. Uh, top guy here, three, we see him also. Wow. And down here, they're all spotted. And we can attempt to spot this guy ducking back in trees. Minus two, that's going to be a three. A zero, we see him too. And that's a dummy. First dummy. All right, these guys will not get orders until next turn. Then they draw turn orders normally. Uh, these guys, once they've seen, will have to will get an emergency stop. Um, alerted vehicles will be given when next activated. The alerted enemy vehicles will be given an emergency stop order after they have completed their activation. So he will have to move one more and then stop the next impulse. All right, so we go on to impulse three. We spotted all these guys go to a hide. And he will move to there. He will move to there, and they're both going to get the emergency stop order. That sucks because once again my my uh, ambush has been thwarted, but that's all right. It is what it is. Um, they can attempt to spot this guy still six minus three is a three. They do not see him. And actually, we're gonna have to slow it way down and check a lot of guys because now they're alert they can see more that's blocked that's blocked so they can't see a whole lot yet which also means i can't see them they these guys can uh that's two and a two well, second guy gets him all right my guys can attempt to spot anybody that's uh, not seen up here they're going to be hiding in the open now which is a minus two so we need a three to spot him we do another dummy and that's the only people that are unseen so far so that's all they can do that's called, oh, we're going to end the turn out there. Is everybody that can be spotted is spotted. Everybody else is on hide orders. We're going to go ahead and move to turn two, get everything back. And I'm going to end up stopping this video there. And I will start turn two tomorrow when I have a clearer brain. Uh, thanks, everybody, for joining me. This is Combat 2 by Compass Games, designed by Ross Mattel. And we are in an ambush on the campaign. See you next time.